let's check out the area of a triangle. As opposed to just memorizing a formula, it's more important that we understand the pattern for how it works and what it describes. We can pick any side of the triangle and call that the base. We can then measure straight up in a perpendicular line to the third point and call that distance the height. Now, our description needs to adapt to any type of triangle, and with all the possible angles that can make up a triangle, that could seem problematic. It would be much easier to deal with if our triangle had a right angle in it. So we can pull the top of the triangle over so it lines up to create a right angle. Sliding over the top like this hasn't changed the overall area. It just arranges the triangle in an easier to measure form because the triangle now fits inside of a rectangle that measures the triangle's base on one side and the height on the other. The triangle fits inside exactly half of this rectangle. So the overall area of a triangle is one half of its base times its height. It doesn't matter what triangle we have, big, small, with any arrangement of angles, the pattern will always work. A triangle area is one half base times height.